Ridge is sponsored by Now that spring is here, the weather is warming up and the ticks are coming out from hiding. This might not be the best news for your four legged family members. So joining me now to talk about Lyme disease in dogs is Dr. Courtney Wegard from Vinton Veterinary Hospital. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah. And you brought Calvin. Gavin. 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 This yes. is Gavin. So Gavin is a very muscular dog. Does he come visit you all? He does not. He is uh, available for adoption at the Franklin County Humane Society. <laughs> He has been waiting for his forever home for about three years now, and he's been in a loving foster home for most of that time, but he's ready. He's ready to find his home. So I'm here promoting him. He seems him. like such a good he's dog. He's the sweetest. He's I mean, he's just sitting here so nice, um, and he just keeps eating treats, and he's listening to you well. So a great dog. So if somebody wanted to find him, tell us one more time. So called the Franklin County Humane. He would be good with other dogs with a good proper introduction. Probably not the best with cats or rabbits, or, um, okay. but great with kids. Um, he, he's kind of a couch potato. They say he loves to exercise, but he doesn't need it. Yes. So definitely come check him out. Good boy. Okay, so let's talk about Lyme disease. Um, how common is it? Actually becoming more and more prevalent in this area. Um, okay. Ticks, there are a lot, a lot of heavy ticks uh, burden in the Smith Mountain Lake area, and it's coming down our way. Uh, people have started pulling ticks off their pets even as early as December and January this year. We had such a mild oh, winter. Okay. Ticks never really went away, so we've seen them throughout. That's scary. So uh, ticks with ticks can come Lyme disease. Is that the only way that, I mean, that's that is the only way to contract it is from a okay. tick. Um, there are a, a lot of other tick diseases too, but the one we see most prevalently is Lyme disease. Okay. Now, um, what are kind of the signs of that that people can look out for? So dogs will come in with really high fever, somewhere uh, 103 to 105 uh, body temperatures, is really hot. Yeah. Swollen lymph nodes, swollen painful joints. Uh, they're inappetent, uh, just generally lethargic, but you can tell they almost look like they're walking stiff, like they're on eggshells. So okay. we can tell these dogs right away when they walk in the door. Okay, and, and how, um, I mean, you can tell from looking at them, but are there tests that you do to say, okay, yes, it's Lyme disease? Right, so we actually have an in-house test that we can run okay. um, that we just need a little blood sample for and it'll tell us a positive. Um, which is great. It's our heartworm and tick exposure test. So every veterinary hospital should have this test. Uh, okay. We recommend it annually at Vincent Vet Hospital because we see so many positive dogs and okay. so many sick dogs that we, we recommend it year round regardless. Now, um, how can it be treated if you find out that your dog has Lyme disease? So if they're clinically sick, if they come in and they have the symptoms of the fever and the swollen lymph nodes, we generally help hospitalize them, put them on IV fluids, treat them symptomatically and get them started on some antibiotics right away. Um, if your dog is in for his annual wellness exam and he he's, happens to come up positive, we have a conversation with the client that we recommend treatment, even okay. if they're not sick, just in case. Yeah. Okay, and then can it, can it be prevented? It can, and that is the first line of defense is uh, flea and tick prevention, whether it's a veterinary approved topical product. We have great collars, flea and tick collars now. We actually have pills you can take that's a once a month pill, just like your heartworm prevention, or even a um, pill that lasts for three months. So okay. first line of defense is prevention. Um, we can also vaccinate your dog for Lyme disease. Oh, so okay. not available on the human side. So we're yeah. fortunate in our profession, we can uh, vaccinate them. So if it's not 100% effective, it will greatly diminish the clinical signs if your dog is okay. infected. And we do have to wrap it up, but I wanna ask if somebody removes the tick from their dog's by their hand, how do, what, what should they do? If you're concerned at all, if your dog's been exposed, um, definitely come see your veterinarian, come see us, and okay. we'll talk about testing and what we can do going forward. Okay, thank you so much for coming in. And if you want a recap of this or a link to Vinton Vet, we'll have it on our website. Just go to daytimebluebridge.com.